Hello and welcome. This is the grammatical reasoning test video tutorial series. In this problem, uh, we'll look at how specific set of operators change set of shapes. We need to determine how three operators, namely a smiley face, a pie shape and an equal sign, change or alter a set of shapes. The smiley face alters the shading of all polygons such as triangles, squares, trapezoids, pentagons, etc. The pie shape alters the size of all squares, from small to large and vice versa. The equal sign alters the shading of all shapes and also replaces all circles with squares. You have example illustrations for each of the operators here. Now, in order to uh, get to the solution, I need to work on the whiteboard, so I'll move to the whiteboard. Here's the same problem on the whiteboard and I'll try to basically provide a solution uh, using these operators okay so what I need to do first is copy this set of shapes presented in the problem here we've got a small unshaded square we've got a small shaded circle a small unshaded trapezoid and a diamond shape which is shaded right so when I apply, the first operator was the smiley face, right? So if when I apply this operator, remember that it alters the shading of all polygons. So what, what I have is that then I'll have this small square, but it'll be shaded. I'll, I'll have the same shaded circle. It will be left untouched. The trapezoid, on the other hand, becomes what? Shaded. And finally, I'll have an unshaded diamond shape. So I'm going to copy this across and show you what happens at the next step. So I'm applying now the next operator, which was the pie shape, right? So the, the pie shape operator. The pie shape operator does what? It alters the size of all squares so it doesn't touch any other shapes so the first was the square right it becomes a large shaded square then you've got the circle which is left untouched and trapezoid and the diamond shape they also left untouched okay so the final step is to transform this using the equal sign shape so you've got this large shaded square okay small shaded circle small trapezoid which is shaded and the diamond shape and when we apply the equal sign so this is equal sign what I'm gonna have is remember that the equal sign does two things one is that it changed shading of all shapes whatsoever including circles and also it converts any circle into a square of corresponding size so I've got a large a large square which is shaded it remains the same my small circle which is shaded becomes what small shaded square and then you've got the trapezoid trapezoid which becomes unshaded and you and the diamond shape finally becomes shaded. Notice that I made a little mistake here. So this large square should also be unshaded. So let me let me erase that. Okay. So let me just clear that up. So so this should be unshaded, right? Now this should be correct right not quite so because the circle also changes shading so that should also be unshaded so this is your final correct set so you should have a large unshaded square a small unshaded square a small unshaded trapezoid and a small shaded 
diamond shape. So this is your final set. And if we look up the answer choices, we will find that the correct ch answer choice is this one, A. It has a large unshaded square, small unshaded square, a small unshaded trapezoid, and a small shaded diamond shape, which is exactly as in our result. And that's it. Visit www.graduatemonkey.com to learn more.